Most of the video clips I show in this video are random clips from different YouTube channels. I will put a link to some of these channels in the description. Plus, I did not cut out or trim the video clips because I think some people would enjoy seeing all the images. Because these are random clips, it is the images that tell the story and not what they are saying. This is why I did not translate what they are saying. I even left out what they are saying in the English version. Before we get started, I need people to subscribe. Subscribers tell YouTube who to show my videos to. Thus, it helps me to grow my channel. For other YouTubers, I usually replace the background music with the music I created. I made around 19 songs that are around 20 minutes long, so they would be easy to put in your videos. The link is in the description. I cannot respond to all comments, but I try to read most of them. It takes me a day just to read all the comments. I have 4 YouTube channels and 4 Facebook pages, and most of the channels have their own language. I appreciate your support. For the videos I translate into Spanish. I did change the voice. I thought the new voice would be cleaner and easier to understand. Many of the videos I translate into Polish or German, YouTube places a restriction on them. The video I created called American Men and German Women, YouTube put an age restriction on that video. The Spanish, Portuguese, English, etc. versions had no problems. In the video I made called United States Women Attack, which I talked about how United States women are attacking the men who are going overseas to find a wife. Now, some United States black men are attacking the men who are overseas that have girlfriends. They say that the men are paying these women, these women are ex-adult film actresses, prostitutes, or the men themselves are scammers. All of this is not true. If you watch these men's videos, you can see that what they have is real. I will talk more about this later in the video. But first, I must give you some background information on how to avoid women in Thailand who are scammers, and why they scam men. Back in the 1970s and 1980s, Thailand was known as the sex tourist capital of the world. In 1990, sex tourism got so bad in Thailand that news reports said that more than half the population of Thailand would die of AIDS or HIV by 1994. However, within two years, Thailand stopped the spread of AIDS or HIV. British men have a bad reputation worldwide. This is because, in the 1990s and early 2000s, British men would go to Eastern Europe, Thailand and many other countries. Make promises to the women, skip town and never keep their promises. Needless to say, this made many Thai women angry. Plus, this was taking place so much that Thailand's government passed a law. The law says that if the Thai woman leaves her job and lives with you, then the government considers you two to be married. Thus, if the relationship ends, then she is entitled to half your stuff. This has also caused many Thai women to realize that they must get what they can from the man before he leaves or kicks her out on the streets. I think this is understandable. Thus, Thai women have over 25 years of experience doing this. Separating men from their money. Plus, these Thai women are teaching other Thai women how to do this. In fact, there are YouTube channels and Thai websites that are teaching other Thai women how to do this. There are two ways to avoid women like this. Thai scammers. 1. Only date women that have a job that allows them to support themselves. This does not mean bar girls. Most bar girls are scammers. 2. Go to the country part of Thailand and find a woman there. However, many of these women might not speak English very well. However, the scammers are in the big cities. The big cities are where the money is, and where unexpecting men first get off the plane. Now about the United States men that are attacking the men in Thailand who have girlfriends. Besides being jealous and envious of the men in Thailand, and based on my experiences dealing with these types of men, these men are cowards. These men cannot stand up to or are too scared to tell the black women in their family that they like to date or get into a relationship with a woman outside their race. Many of them would like to date or get into a relationship with a woman outside their race, but are too scared of what the women in their family would think, and how these women would react. They attack the men overseas that have Thai girlfriends as a way to appease or please black women. Plus, as a way to appease or please the black women in their family, many of them will marry black women. Women who they do not love. Because of it, most of these men will cheat and get a divorce. Thus, they attack men that have what they want. Men who were not scared to go and attain what they wanted. In order to feel good about themselves. In order not to face the fact that they are cowards. They attack the men that have achieved what they wish they had the courage to do. Plus, if they had the chance, they would also attempt to destroy these men.
This is Richie and his girlfriend, whose name is Elle. They have been together for more than three years. His YouTube channel is called Zoom to Thailand. I will put a link to his channel in the description. If you watch his videos, you can see that what they have is real. That they love each other, and Richie would like to marry Elle. Richie likes to make Elle smile, because every time she smiles, he falls in love with her all over again. Some have said that Richie is paying Elle, and that she is an actress or ex-prostitute. However, Richie made a video showing where and how he met Elle. This video also shows Elle at work. Thus, Elle is just an everyday girl who is special to Richie. Richie also made another video showing how Elle cooks and cleans for him. This has caused many United States black men to move to Thailand so that they can attain what he has. A woman who will treat him like she truly loves him. In fact, so many United States black men have moved to Thailand that Pattaya Thailand now has a substantial black community. As you can see from these images, they all know one another. They have pool parties, boat parties, and holiday parties together. Plus, all the men are very happy. In fact, one man moved his Colombian girlfriend to Pattaya Thailand, and neither one is looking to move back to Colombia anytime soon.
This is James. James is not his real name, but the computer cannot pronounce his name. This is his girlfriend, who is named Lucky. Some have said that Lucky is an ex-adult film actress or ex-prostitute. If you watch his videos and see how she treats and acts around him, you will see that she was never part of the adult entertainment industry. Plus, one will also see that she is in love with him, and both are very happy together. She even took him to meet her family. If you watch the video where he meets her family, you will see that Lucky did not come from a poor Thai family, and that she was raised in a traditional and conservative household. Thus, Lucky not only cooks and cleans for her man, but she also has her own money that she uses to buy him stuff. Plus, according to Thai culture, if you meet the woman's family, you are saying that your intention is to marry her. He met the whole family. Aunts, uncles, cousins. Everyone. Thank you.